Hey there everybody, Topher Welsh here for VideoHive.net and VisualFXTuts.com. I'm going to go over some of the uh, parameters for Magic Bullet Mojo from Red Giant Software today because it is a lot easier for me to show you how this stuff works rather than write down a huge long article. So let's jump right in. I got a picture of me and my brother at my wedding last July, July 12th. I married about two and a half months. Almost three months, I guess. Yeah. Anyways, but um, let's jump right in. So you got the mojo effect, mojo tint, mojo balance, warm it, punch it, bleach it, and then these skin things right here. So let's look at mojo first. Mojo, what this does, this affects how or it controls how much effect the mojo tint and the mojo balance have on the image. So if this is at zero, these don't do anything. So the more you push this up, you can see we're putting the effect on. And then the tint is going to control the tint of the effect. It's usually from like a teal to a green to like a blue-green type of look. So let's like keep it right there. And then the mojo balance considers or decides what gets considered foreground and background. So you can kind of see what's going on there. Now you have these war you have warm it right here, which is basically obviously going to just warm the photo a little bit. And you have punch it, which punches your contrast up and down. So you can see it gets a lot more contrasty. And then you have bleach it, which knocks out your color the farther you go up and eventually you get to full grayscale. So now we have these skin controls. Okay, so once you've messed with uh, your initial color correction, you kind of got this weird looking skin color. So what skin color does here, let's turn on show skin overlay, and it shows you with this red grid here, what is considered actual skin. So you can move your skin color around and you see you're getting back to more normal skin tones here. So this basically pushes your skin tones back to the original of what they were. Okay, what Skin Squeeze does is it actually expands what mojo or what skin color is considering skin color. So it gives you more leeway. So like you can see it's taking this background because it's kind of close to the skin color here and it's kind of making it consider what you know skin color is. So that's what Skin Squeeze does. Okay, so Skin Solo is kind of interesting. In theory, if Mojo is set to zero and do that, and then turning this up makes everything considered not skin go into grayscale, but since you're looking at this and you see a lot of this is being considered skin because of this grid it's not really being applied here but you can see this these are getting knocked out in this black so what it's going to do is it's going to make that go into grayscale but if the mojo is turned up then all the non-skin tones get pushed to the teal or green or whatever the mojo is set to so we can set this up so now you can see our face is actually being recognized a little bit better here so it's going to solo the skin, and then the skin just will not be affected. But as you can see, the, what's being considered a skin get changed as the mojo goes up and down, and all these other parameters. So it's going to take a little tweaking to uh, get it right, but basically what you're going to end up with is very two, two very tight color areas, basically skin and everything not skin. Lastly, we can check out these presets here. We got like Mojito. We got uh, Mojo One Two Three. We got Mojo Bruce. We got Mojo Default, which is our default right here. Optimus, which is like Optimus Prime and uh, uh, Transformers. Resident, which I'm guessing is like Resident Evil. Uh, Rising, it looks to me like Seeker: The Dark Is Rising. That uh, show or that movie. Uh, skin scope only. And so it's actually just going to show you what the default image is actually being considered to be skin. So from here, you can take your skin color and kind of up that. So it kind of goes into more of your face and your hands or whatever you're looking for. And then you have Mojo War, which is like a very bleach bypass, little bit of color, lots of green, dark, dark greens type stuff like that. And then when you actually find some Mojo presets that you like, you can actually save your own as animation presets as well. So that's pretty cool. So this is getting a little longer than I was hoping to have, but 
My name is Topher Welsh from VideoHive.net and VisualFXTuts.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye.